On hole number four, we will gonna go with a Kingmaker and a Sniper. I'm gonna go with three left spin and 1.5 backspin. I'm gonna preset the spins first and then we're gonna find our landing position. The tip of the ball guide, it's in line with the pin on the left side of it. And here we will gonna have our yellowing angle. You see that uh, flag over there, that will gonna be uh, the blue in angle. And you see that shadow from the panel with the first golf clash panel, uh, that will gonna be our red wind angle. Since we are just at the intersection, I went with the yellow wind angle over here and I went with one click of left curl. Adjust max plus 10 P3 using sniper 10 numbers. So if you have a sniper level 6, 7, 8, 9, always use uh, max plus 10 using sniper 10 numbers in your app. Center the ball, hit perfect. And this will gonna have a very good chance of dropping in for a hole in one. Good luck. Welcome to hole number five. Here we're gonna go with a Titan because we're gonna want to go with full OP, slower nil. Actually, we didn't write that down. There we go. So extra mile level nine, we're gonna be at double plus 13 yard mark at the concrete over there with the ball guide going over in the center of the next fairway. Adjustment here, it's max plus 20 P3. And after doing that, we're gonna go with full overpower and the needle will not gonna shake at all. Try to hit perfect. A slight great right might be safe. Uh, I don't know about a great left might actually go into the rough on the left side. If you're scared about that, you can go with uh, just four topspin. You're still gonna be uh, pretty fine. From this point, we're gonna go and use our wedge. For the wedge, I'm going with my rapier rule. Here I was about 40% slider with my, um, my club. Going with full topspin, placing the ball guide uh, just through the hole. And then we're gonna just, uh, you know, 40% divided by two, which is 20% slider and 50% downhill elevation P3. On the first try, I went with 20%, but I was uh, going on the right side of the hole. So I decided to reduce the elevation for the approach to 15. And this one goes dead center. Adjust your rings, hit perfect. And you should get a nice and easy eagle on this one. Good luck. For more details, pictures, and everything, you can find it on our Patreon. Thank you for the support, and see you on hole number six. On hole number six, we're going to go Extra Mile and Kingmaker. We're going to place, if you have an Extra Mile level nine, we're going to be at plus zero yard mark, and we're going to go with free right spin and 4.5 top. We're adjusting here max plus 30% P3. And I'm having a low wind over here. Well, not really low wind for a wind free ball, but if you have below 5.9 uh, miles an hour, also just to pull back 0.5 of a ring because um, in a lower wind, you're gonna go further. That's how it goes. And I want it to be extra safe over there than uh, just having a chance of going into the water. And yeah, try to do that. We're gonna be always about this yardage. So about 368, 69, 365. We're gonna need a sniper nine, uh, unfortunately to make it uh, happen. So if you have a power four ball, you can use that one instead. For the approach, we are above the distance of sniper level seven and eight so like that's why i said use a power four ball if you have sniper nine and ten we're gonna be nice plus nine yard mark for me we're gonna be 92 percent slider we're always gonna adjust here plus 35 percent p3 this is also king wind after setting the spins which is free backspin and free left spin place the tip of the ball guide on the left side of the pin pull the rings as straight as you can. Center the ball and hit perfect. This one has a very good chance of dropping in for an albatross.
Good luck.